What's up Synchro Nation? Welcome to Flix Feed. I am Warren Synchro and today I'm reviewing how to train your Dragon 3, the hidden world. So, How to Train Your Dragon 3, The Hidden World is the third installment to the How to Train Your Dragon series. Durr. And in this movie, we go back to Berk, where Vikings and dragons coexist. And in here, dragons and Vikings are coexisting even more than in the last movie. So guys, with this movie, I have to tell you, it really surprised me. I really, really enjoyed this movie. And I think it's the best sequel from the three. Nevertheless, there are still some negatives, but in reality, they're just nitpicks. Uh, no movie is perfect. So with that, let's go ahead and talk about the negatives. So in this movie, there's uh, this new Night Fury, or in this case, it's a white one, and they call it Light Fury. Now, unlike Toothless, when uh, he first was shown in the first movie, uh, there was small backstory about where he came from, what they were about. And with this dragon, really, there isn't much of an origin. She just shows up out of nowhere. And although that's really not a big deal considering Toothless himself wasn't didn't really have an origin except that the difference is in the first movie they kind of briefly mentioned on what the Night Furies were about and how good they were and how rare and deadly whereas with this Light Fury uh, she just shows up and there's really no origin it would have been nice to kind of know a little bit of a backstory on how she came up to be I mean considering most dragons, or if not all of them, we don't really know where they came from. The other nitpick really is this story. It's uh, not quite original, although there really isn't anything new under the sun anymore. Um, and although it was executed well, uh, the story is very familiar. It's kind of beat by beat. Uh, you can tell what's going to happen next because the story has been done before. And then finally, the trailers, uh, there's a little bit of misdirect. There's a scene in the trailer where it shows a Hiccup as an older man. And it was played in a way where I, at least with me, thought that it was going to be the majority, if not the entire movie, about him being an older gentleman. I mean, not a big deal. He was, uh, this movie was set actually one year after the previous movie. So he's still in his young adult or teenage years. But I think in this third one, and if it is the last one, um, which I doubt because if this movie makes a lot of money, then I'm sure they're going to make a fourth one. But in this third one, I would have seen how he lived as an adult with Toothless. But other than that, guys, really, that's, that's all there is to the negatives. So with that said, let's go ahead and hit up the positives, which to me, the number one is the animation. Oh my God, this is hands down to me the best animated 3D CGI type animation out there. From the dragon details, from the head to their tails, to the wings, uh, how the light shines on them, the backdrop, the world that the filmmakers built, uh, it's visually stunning. And there's a lot of scenes where it shows how the lighting comes to play and the colors with all the dragons and the environment all comes to play and it's really visually stunning. It's like visual eye candy, just like Aquaman. Um, maybe just on par, I mean, if we were gonna talk about special effects, you know, I mean, obviously Aquaman tops it. With 3D animation, I mean, this is hands down the best. The animation is fluid. You can tell sometimes that it is an animation because it's just so damn good. And then the other thing I liked about it is there's some adult teams. So adults will like this just as much as kids would. And there's a lot of cutesy scenes here for kids and Toothless is damn cute as always. And the new Light Fury is just as cute. And the things they do together, um, there's one particular scene that you will definitely notice uh, when they first meet. It's, and it's in the trailers, but that extended scene in the movie, it just really makes you want to go, aww. So yeah, but that doesn't say like if you're an adult and you're bringing your kids, you're not going to get bored out of your mind because there's some funny moments and there's a lot of adult moments too. So I think kids and adults will like this movie a lot. And then the voice acting is superb, especially Kate Blanchett as Valica and Jay Baruchel as Hiccup. Both of them play their characters beautifully. And what is a hero without its villain? Uh, I've always think that villains, uh, the villains are weak 
it doesn't really play off well with the heroes. So in this case, um, superb. The villain is awesome, played by F. Murray Abraham, who just by his face alone, um, I think they kind of try to to try to mimic it in this uh, character. The mannerisms, the the way he moves, his personality alone is just just like him in real life. And his voice, perfect for this character. I like his motivation. It's not a throwaway villain like uh, a lot of cartoons, uh, animations are. Uh, with this, you see why he has to hunt dragons, in this case, night furies. So he specializes in that. and. Uh, the movie explains that beautifully without being an exposition. So I appreciate that for having a strong villain because it only plays off with the, the hero and it makes that hero much better having a strong villain as well. And then earlier I mentioned about the cuteness in the movie but uh, one thing for sure is this is a very emotional movie and especially in certain scenes towards the end in the third act but there's a lot of heart and you know I don't usually get choked up a little bit you know even especially in movies that are meant to do that but in this movie you know i'm i almost got there man that's whew. there are some scenes like i said especially the third act and i was like oh man you know and if this is the the last installment to the series that's very valid to cry in the end people on my right and left i me, i mean they were bawling their eyes out you know kids that's meant meant to happen but even the adults so nothing wrong with that guys if you want to cry in this movie because it's really that good and the emotion just really hits you right there so guys i think you're gonna really love this movie so with that said i think i'm gonna give this movie tickets to the gun show you son of a bitch so there you guys have it, my review of How to Train Your Dragon 3, The Hidden World. What do you guys think of my review? Are you guys excited to watch the movie? Have you guys seen the movie? And if so, go ahead and uh, comment below, but be careful with spoilers. And as always guys, if you like my review, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to Flixfeed yet, eh, maybe subscribe. And until next time guys, if you like this, you can click right here. And get single five.